Okay, so you know what's coming out? Um, what? In just less than a week. Uh, are you gay? No, I'm not, I'm not coming out. But the oh, okay. new Titanic uh, special edition. Um, did you hear Bill Paxton died today? Who? Bill Paxton? The actor? Yeah. No, I didn't hear that. Yeah, it tore me up. I loved him That's in terrible. Frailty, um, Twister. He's a good actor. Yeah. He died the same way Joan Rivers died. So. Joan Rivers is dead? <laughs> do you not do you not have social media of any sort, I guess? Uh, all right. So how did Bill Paxton die? Um complications from a surgery. Oh. Uh, it might not have been uh cosmetic surgery like Joan Rivers, but it was surgery nonetheless. So how did Joan Rivers die? Complications from cosmetic surgery. Oh, all right. I don't know, actually. It's been too long ago. So. Alright. Yeah, so you're excited about the Switch coming out? Yes. This Friday, which is March 3rd, Nintendo Switch is coming out. Are you excited at all about that? I think that's the day Logan comes out, so I'll probably just go watch that instead. <laughs> that's how excited you are. Although Logan looks like an awesome movie. It's, it's uh, the first rated R movie for Wolverine, I think. So why right. did you pre-order the Switch, and what made you like it so much? Because it's a Nintendo product, and I I think I'm addicted to buying stuff when it first comes out. I think uh, I have a really, really big problem with pre-ordering things and getting collector's editions of things and never opening them or playing them. Um, I bought Final Fantasy 15 three times. Um... Because I didn't want to open the box. I didn't want to open up the collector's edition. And then I bought a digital one. Because, I mean, that doesn't matter, right? That's pretty bad. So you don't really care about the Switch itself? You just No, actually, I do it. care about the okay. Switch. I, I think it's actually going to be... I bought a Nintendo Wii U day one. Um, amidst all my friends saying that it was probably a mistake and a stupid system. I got enjoyment out of it. I mean... I stayed up that whole night and played Mario, um, and then didn't find a reason to turn it on for like eight months until the new Mario game came out. But I think Nintendo Switch is going to be an absolute great system. I think it's it's finally a system that's going to be able to do everything a Nintendo system should do: uh, be mobile, dock it to your TV. Um, it's going to hit everything. So now you're not going to need a to two systems to play all the Nintendo titles like Monster Hunter. I mean, that's usually you know Pokemon. When the new one comes out, it's gonna probably be for Nintendo Switch. And I, I think that's just I think I could be completely hundred percent wrong, but it, it's like the I think they're not ever gonna make a new system again. I think it's gonna be Nintendo Switch Two, Nintendo Switch Three, Nintendo Switch Four. They're never gonna change away from this unless if they go completely asinine with a whole new system but I always think that there's going to be a switch uh, well, system I do I do agree that it is an interesting system and I think it fixes a lot of problems you don't have to buy a DS and a Wii for example you know Wii U, uh, 3DS. I like that it's you know it becomes freestanding for multiple players so if you're just at a table you know at a restaurant you can just put it on the table and play it um, yeah. You know, I my worry is, you know, a if it's like, um, you know, jack of all trades, master of none type of thing, right? So I mean, are you you're not really getting a good console or a good handheld? You're just kind of getting, you know, a mediocre version of each, right? Right. I mean, the screen doesn't seem to be that big. Uh, I wrote down the specs. It's only like a six and a half inch screen, six point two inch. Yeah, six point two inch screen, and even worse than that, the memory has only got thirty two gigabytes. But you, but you can you can hook up more storage to it. Yeah, yeah, it takes micro SD cards. Yeah, they didn't go the Sony route where they make up a, a a card that you can only use for the Vita and charge eighty dollars for twenty gigabytes. Um, 
Yeah, that's why I got mine in Japan. I paid like a hundred dollars and got a uh, sixty-four gigabyte card. Yeah. Well. You get, no, it might have been one hundred twenty-eight. Yeah. Whatever the largest was, I only paid a hundred dollars since it wasn't imported. <clears throat> but yeah, I you know honestly I didn't even uh, pay much attention to the switch until we decided to talk about it, and I liked it better than I thought I would. Seeing all the different setups, I watched their introduction video, mm -hmm. looked up the specs. Um, you know, the small screen when you're playing a portable and a short battery life are probably the two biggest issues. But I mean, other than that, it seems like a really good system. You know. But the, when you bring it mobile, it's it's bigger than a 3DS screen. That's true. Yeah, it is bigger, and especially if you're going to play multiple players, you need the bigger screen. It's not 1080p. Uh, no, it's, it's like is it seven twenty. Yeah, seven twenty p when you go did when you go remote with it. Yeah. So, you know, I don't think I don't think it's an OLED screen like the first version of Vita's, which I had. I thought I had, I had amazing screen. That had a uh, a really awesome screen. When I I was yeah. really impressed. When I first uh, when I first um you know watched the video, uh, one thing it reminded me of was back when I was a kid. You know, Super Nintendo had a uh, cartridge come out that you could plug Game Boy Advance games into. Not Game Boy Advance, just Game Boy games. Yeah, the Super Game Boy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And and I loved that thing. You know, I got to, I never had a Game Boy growing up, so I, but I was able to borrow a few games from people at school, and I got to play Zelda on that Game Boy because I um, had that attachment. So I think it it's kind of interesting that it kind of puts that old school thinking all into one unit now. Mm -hmm. GameCube had something like that, you know, they had the Game Boy Advance player. Well, yeah, where you can plug the Advance into your um, GameCube. GameCube, but that was more for another controller, though. That was the, that was the play, that same, same thing as Super Game Boy. You can play a full Game Boy Advance game on your Nintendo GameCube. Could you? I thought it was just uh, it works as an extra controller if you're playing certain games together. Nope. You can, like you can, Wind Waker, you could play that little dumb guy that drops bombs or whatever. Right. No. No. Mm -hmm. No. You can you, you you can actually play a Game Boy Advance game, and you can play Game Boy. I mean, you can even do Game Boy and Game Boy Color games on it too, as well. So, all on your GameCube. Well, I never looked into GameCube that much, apparently. I mean, I played a lot of GameCube, but I didn't really have that much... Uh, you just had the WaveBird, the wireless controller. You remember those? Yeah. That was, uh, uh, like, the best wireless... That's what Nintendo does. This is why I'm excited about the Switch. Nintendo is so innovative. They always do it first, and then another company comes and does it better. You, I mean, look at the Wii. They did the motion controllers, and it was a gimmick. But after they did the motion controllers, Microsoft and Sony came out with their own, right? Uh, yeah, if it wasn't for the motion controller, VR wouldn't be where it is today. Exactly. Oh. And then and then Wii U comes out and it says, well, you can play on your, you know, on your controller, you can look at your screen. Well, what does Sony do? They're like, okay, well, well, you can do that with the Vita. And yeah, then Microsoft says much. Xbox Glass or Microsoft Glass or whatever that was where you can have your tablet and, and, and run your uh, uh, Xbox One. So it's just like, Nintendo is always the ones to come out with it first. Um, and then the other companies come through. I mean, I guess that's capitalism for you. They'll, they'll, they'll come in and uh, uh, make it better. Um, and I don't think Nintendo gets enough credit for, for what they do. Well, I think Nintendo kind of does the same thing, though, too. Like, 3D wasn't a Nintendo thing. They just made it portable on the 3DS. And they made it without glasses, which is like... Uh, nobody has ever done, which they got sued for, by the way. They got sued for that. I think the guy that created it sued them. Um, I, I'd had I'd have to get some more information. Maybe I'll put a link below um, on some information on that. So. Yeah, I noticed that uh, you know, no one ever uses the 3D part of the 3DS. I, well, you know, like if let, let's say you're playing in the car. You hit a bump and then you gotta adjust your eyes. Yeah. It's it's a gimmick. All all 
all that 3D stuff is kind of gimmicky, really, right? I mean, it's awesome at the movie theater because you're there just to watch a movie. But when you're at home and you you put in a 3D movie on your 3D TV and you put on your glasses and you're, it looks awesome and then someone in another room yells for you or asks a question you look over and you come back and then you're like, oh, you got to just... You're... It doesn't. It doesn't help that you're not like like a movie theater. You're just enclosed, and it's the only thing you're doing. Outside of a movie theater, you know, you have other distractions, which, which is the problem with VR too, by the way. No, I mean, heck, aren't games themselves just one huge gimmick? Okay, like, hey, connect this box to your TV and push some buttons. So well, if you, if you if you look at it that way, then yes, but okay. so anyhow, I am I am super super excited about the Switch. Um, and I'm gonna actually do a live stream of it on midnight. So um, I'm excited for the honest trailer of the Switch. You know, what's they decide to make that? Oh, oh. Well, I'm getting the only game I got. Usually, I'll I'll get a couple games for a system, but it looks like it's a little gimpy on that section. So I'm only gonna get Zelda. So we'll we'll kind of see how that goes. So only Zelda. Only Zelda. But, so you're paying uh, three hundred dollars to get one game to play. For now, I'm I'm investing in the future. 